Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Horses from Stamperia. This is a design project for Scrap and Create and you can get all your supplies there. I will have a link down below and there is also a link down below for the cutting guide for this project. So go ahead and get that. It's free. You just click, go get it. So we've just about finished our pages. We've got a couple of mats to do, which um, we will do in this video, but we need to make our cover and I have already started mine. Um, it is the pages are eight and a half, uh, or rather the covers are eight and a half by eight and a half. And I have wrapped them in the green, as you can see, on three sides, left one side unwrapped. On the unwrapped side, on the outside, I have put some tape. And then the spine is eight and a half by two and a half. And I have a piece of, this is cream, you could use white, I didn't have any white and I think cream will be just fine. Um, but I've got cream cardstock. This is five and a half by ten and a half. Um, and I have centered my spine on it and put a quarter inch piece of tape on either side and then just a piece of tape out here. It could be quarter, three eighths, whatever you want. Okay, so that's as far as I've gotten. So I'm just gonna set this aside for a moment. I'll just work with this. And the reason we're doing it this way is we're going to uh, wrap the spine in rice paper and if I'd gone really dark it wouldn't have shown as well. So this piece of tape I'm leaving and this piece I am going to remove the back. Okay, and then we're going to remove the back from this one. And then I want this to be reasonably straight. So let me grab this. Sorry, probably, that probably made a lot of noise. Um, I just want a somewhat thicker ruler, something thick, like thick this way thick, um, so I can really rest against it. And I'm gonna, I'm holding this up and just putting it right up against that quarter inch piece of tape and against the ruler. It slid a little there, right? I was putting it down, but I think it's okay. Yep. Okay, that way I can be sure it's all lined up this way. Okay, and what did I do with my bone folder that I just had two seconds ago? Okay, and then I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. I feel like I need to wrap something different colors around these tools so that I can pick the right one up first time. Okay, and again, ruler. And that ruler needs to be against these two pieces. So we want a nice and straight cover. And I'm just lining it up against this tape and against the ruler. There we go. Okay. And I had pre-bent this a little bit. So I'm just bending that over a little bit. All right, so now we need to tape so that we can wrap that. And where did I put my tape? The area to off to the side of my desk was a mess. And then I had two cats up here going bananas. And so now it's even more of a mess. Sorry about that. I have the school announcements have begun. I mentioned earlier, or not earlier, but in another video, that I live very close to a hospital and a fire station, so I do get sirens and I get helicopters and things like that, and I also live near school, so I get school announcements. Which I don't mind any of that. Take the other end. 
I do want to remove the back from this. Oops, sorry, I have things all over the place right now. I really need to put up like a shelf or something up behind where you are. Um, just to hold the tools that I use all the time that don't fit in my cart. Or that I just don't keep in my cart. Probably they'd all fit in the cart if I really tried. Okay. I'm just gonna roll that over. Just like that. And then do the same on this end. down in there. And I'm going to burnish it from the outside as well. Okay, that's good. Now, Wrap that in rice paper. Right. Now I cut my rice paper to nine and a half, so that means I'm only going to have about a half inch top and bottom to wrap over. However, if you want to, um, you know, do it so that you have more than just cut it bigger. I just wanted to have those scraps to use on the inside, so I'm just getting an idea. Now it's gonna go over uh, the edge of our cover, and that's fine um, because it's gonna. We are gonna mat front and back. So what I want to do, I just want to make sure that we get the horses, you know, onto the spine. Okay, so it's not gonna be even front and back, which is perfectly fine. So that's there. And I'm wondering if I want to trim maybe an inch or so off of this side. Not for any reason other than that it would give, you know, give me an inch of rice paper that I might be able to use elsewhere. I think I'll do that. I hope, I hope you can't hear voices. They're um, remodeling the townhome that's right next to mine, that's attached to mine. And I can hear the workers. Okay. So I feel like that's about where I want it to be. away the piece of plastic that I was using as a um, just a blank palette before. So let me see if I've got something I can use here. Sorry. It's like an obnoxious noise, I know. Oops, well it's not moved. I'm gonna have to redo that. there for a second so the air conditioning doesn't blow it.
want to do is work on this part of it while it is bent over. This is the front, and we're not going to have just the, the back side of this horse. Um, it will be matted, so you won't see that. Whoops. Did that. Oh, I didn't leave myself much at the top. I might need that little piece that I cut off. inside and glue it down and you know what I would like is a scrap of paper hang on well, that's probably not a good idea I'm probably gonna end up gluing it to that paper now that I think about it, yeah, it's probably not a good idea at all. The glass I can clean, but... Okay. Just lift it up. I hope you can see. Lift it up. Give it a little tug if you have to. Roll it over, and then I can add a little glue. Okay, and I got to the side. So make sure you get some glue up against the edge of the book there. glue on the outside of this and then we will let it dry. I 
I'm not too, too concerned about it because most of the front and back will be covered by a mat. It's really only the spine that's that I want to make sure I get, but it won't hurt to put a little here just to make sure the edges don't lift or anything. Okay. Make sure I get that corner. Don't worry that the glue is white. It will dry clear. I am using uh, Velo glue from Stamparia, which is designed for rice paper, but I am pretty sure that it is just a matte Mod Podge, so just go ahead and use matte Mod Podge. If you don't have the Velo. Okay. And now we'll do the spine. Is, I probably ought to have mentioned that this is an optional step, but I've kind of reached a point where if I can get my hands on a rice paper to go with a collection, I will do this. I won't consider it an option because it just looks so much better than when you don't do it, I think. I just really love having pattern wrap around so that when you even if you're going to put a mat on the spine um, like I did with Alice you still have that decoration going you don't have an interruption where you just see the plain spine um, you know the plain paper okay got a bubble there but that's okay all right let's leave that to dry let me go rinse this brush and I'll be right back just remember when you're using, actually, I was going to say when you're using your brushes with adhesive, but when you're using your brushes, period, as soon as you're done, clean them. You don't want to use, I mean, you don't have to use the world's most expensive brushes, but you also don't want to use really cheap brushes or the little hairs will come off in your projects. So, you know, you're using something that's, you know, a little bit pricey, so you want to take care of it. Okay, so... There was one page, this one, that needs a couple of mats. Okay. In here, we haven't done yet. I was hoping that I would have scraps, but I don't know as I do. I mean, at least not that I want to use. I don't think. I, mean, I have this, which I like a lot, but I don't think I have anything similar for the other side. I have that, but it's not, you know, they don't look, these two don't really go that well. going through my scraps here on my desk. So we have that, but I kind of don't really want to use it because this is so pretty we could use it on an insert. Or the cover even. This is the second eight by eight. If we use that, I think I'd end up, let's see, three and seven eighths. So we 
think we could just, yeah, we can make it. I just wanted to make sure I'm getting back to the horse's butt. I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to just have that there, but I'm not. So I think this will work. Okay, so let me do that. Okay. Oops. That way. Okay, hang on. Yeah, that'll be nice. Okay. That. Boy, I hope those bus call-outs aren't too loud. <laughs> They're releasing the kids. I think is the last mat we need to do on the pages and I still have not finalized how I want to put these in so I I'm definitely want that first I don't want that second because it's too similar my original was to have that no I think it was to, was it to have that No, it was, okay, hang on. Okay, so that, and then that, and that, and then that, which I liked, because it sort of carried across that scenic thing. Okay, then that, and that. That was the original plan, and I still think that's fine. That, and that. And that. So I guess the order we made them in is the order we're going to put them in, which is fine. Okay, let's go ahead and make our hinge while the cover is drying. And for that, the actual size will be in your cutting guide. Um, it needs to be seven and what I do is just take a 12 inch sheet. I'll cut a piece 7 and 7 eighths by 12. The actual length, I believe, is 10, but I'll start with 12. Okay, set these aside for a moment. Do is score at 
one and a half inches, then one and seven eighths, two and three eighths, two and seven eighths, three and a quarter. So what I did was three eighths, half, half, three eighths. Now I'm going to do three and three quarters, so that's a half inch. Four and one quarter, that's another half inch. And now three eighths, so that's one, two, four and five eighths. Okay, and then I need five and an eighth. Five and five eighths, that's two more half inch ones. And then three eighths, which is six. Six and a half, seven, and seven and three eighths. All right, how many pages is that? One, two, three, four. That's what I thought. And then I need to do one and a half inches from there. So where am I at? I'm at seven and three eighths. So that's eight and three eighths and eight and seven eighths, right? And that's where I'm going to cut it. going to do is turn over the side with the bumps. We are going to put a piece of 3 8 inch tape in the first half inch space. Make absolutely sure that your adhesive does not stick out. Then you're going to skip the next half. So you've got 3 8 half, half, 3 8 half, and we're going to put Another piece of tape in that one. Basically, all you need to do is put a piece of 3 8 inch tape in one. See, that's hanging over. I'm going to have to trim that, so I'm just going to pull it back a little. One of the 5 8th, eighth inch, excuse me, one of each of the half inch spaces. What's the matter, Jolly? Oh, I know what's the matter. Hi. She wants her dinner. It's early, but I took the day off today because we went up to Disney yesterday for the day. And um, normally I would be working and I would have gotten off work about, uh, what time is it? A little over half an hour ago. And that's when they get their dinner, even though it's early. And now I can't see, honey, I have no light. But you want your dinner, I know. Can you just let me go ahead and put this piece of tape down? Sorry guys, I cannot see and I'm sure you can't either. There we go. Okay, where's my little tear thing? Okay, well that didn't work, so now she's gonna get down. But it's alright. I'm gonna come down, I'll come feed you in a minute. Um, anyway, so they get their dinner early, right after I finish work, because they have their breakfast very early before I start work. Okay, there we go. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add some more to this side, but for now, let's turn it over. And get your quarter inch tape. And on this side, you've got, remember, you've got pairs of half inch, right? Half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch. And there's a, a score line between each of them. So you have half inch, score line, half inch. You want to put a piece of quarter inch tape in each of those half inch spaces close to that center score line. These are the pieces of tape that are going to hold your actual pages in the book. You can use glue if you want. I never do because I've never had a book fall apart, so I don't worry about that. But should I make a mistake putting the pages in the book, and I've used art glitter glue, 
basically I'm done because you cannot get once art glitter glue is set that's it you don't have to cut it apart but this at least I can get it apart if I have to Oh. All right, back to this side. Now, if you remember, we have some 3 8 inch spaces. Okay, and I'm trying to decide where I want to put it. Well, I know I need to put it in here. So the, there's three 3 inch spaces in the center area. So we need to put it there quarter inch tape in those okay and there's also outer um, three eighths inch bases the reason I didn't put tape there is these are actually just guidelines, those score marks, and you'll be able to see them on the front when you are when you need them as guidelines, but they can be uh, fully taped, so I can use wider tape for that. Yeah, maybe. I say maybe because it's, I don't know if I can get two one-inch pieces. short there but that's okay all right so then the next step is you need to fold over between those five eighths inch or excuse me half inch pairs I think I keep calling them five eighths but they're half inch half inch pairs so you're folding like that between this the narrow ones on the front okay I know I show you how to do this a lot, and I even have a whole video on it, but I figure I might as well just mention it again. Save you having to watch the video if you don't know how to do it.
there's a little flexibility. Okay, I have one more. Now, are these four fins sticking up like that with tape on either side to hold our pages. And then just work them back and forth, burnish them really well. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pause right now because I need to go give my girls their dinner. Um, let me do that. And then um, when the cover is dry, which will just be, I mean, I don't know how long it's going to be for me, but it'll be a few seconds for you. Um, we'll come back, put the uh, hinge in, and it, put the pages in. So I'll be right back. I'm back. Um, this is mostly dry. Uh, what I did off camera is I did patch in just a few little... Um, pieces um, just in case I didn't want any white showing above or below my um, spine you can see those patches mostly will not be visible by the time I've matted and everything else but just to be on the safe side the other thing I did is I added um, another score line about a quarter inch from this one just because I forgot I made my spine a little wider and it'll just be easier to line it up if I have that extra score line, but that's also totally unnecessary. All right, I think that's it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just centering this on the spine and centering it top to bottom. That's about, that looks good. I'm just going to make a line. That looks good. I'm not going to measure that. And then what I'm going to do is take um, tape off of just this first section. And then I know it's going to get lined up along that line. And I want to make sure I'm centered pretty well top to bottom. I'm going to put it down, make sure that looks good, and then I can lift it up. this point you've got enough of it glued down that it'll pretty well just fall down where you want it so take all the rest of the tape off Down. You don't want to stretch it, but you want to make sure it's flat. Burnish it. Cat hair, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and burnish it in here. 
here. Lift it up. These covers feel huge. Okay. And same thing here. Still a little crackly, so I think it's not quite dry with the extra patches that I added. Okay. That is good. Remember, you can see where I've got glue here. None of that's going to show, really. We're going to cover it with a mat. I mean, it might show a tiny bit right there, but I'm not concerned. Okay. Pages. Double check. Yes. Okay, so this is back. This is the front. We're right side up. The way things were going with this album. I double check and triple check. Okay, get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. Give ourselves a little bit of room to spread out. Okay, and these just slide over. Um, you know, they're a tube, if you remember. Let me just open this one up. Hang on. They are a tube, and you're just going to slide this opening onto the hinge that you made, okay? And you're going to do it first with the back of the tape on, because you want to check and make sure it fits. And it does. And we are not going to put it all the way down so it's sitting right on the spine. You want to leave yourself a um, sixteenth of an inch or so, even up to an eighth if you've got really bulky pages. Um, just so that the pages will move freely. And this one. So I've just peeled back. Okay, there we go. A little bit of the tape. Just like that. Down. Back, turn it over, and you need to get something that you can get up in there to get the the back of the tape on the other side. There we go. First page, and then this is going to be the second page. And this page we still need to decorate with something to hide that magnet. Well, you might not. I do. If you did yours, if you remember to put your magnet, hopefully I'll remind you. Uh, you don't have to worry about it, but I do have to put something there. So I'll probably just double mat that page. It's kind of a plain back mat, so it'll be fine. Okay, there we go. And you want to make sure it's lining up pretty well, too along the edges. You don't have wonky pages. Okay. Go. This one is going to go like this. This has got a lot going on, so I want to make sure I do a test fit. Sometimes the bulkier pages like this can be a little more tricky to get on. Okay. Now that it's on, I'll see if I can keep it on there while I. Make sure this one in particular is not too far down because of the large amount of bulk that it has.
don't know if you can see. You see how thick that is? So if you put that all the way down, these pages would not turn. Okay. And this one goes like this. Okay, so we need inside front cover, inside back cover, and we need something decorative to hide that magnet. So I think if I just put something, obviously, if I just put something over the magnet, it's going to look like, hey, what's she hiding there? Um, and you can see, as thick as this page is, it's not going super flat, but that's okay. It's fine. So I think I'm just going to pick something for here that'll cover the whole thing. And it'll look like I meant to do that. So we've already featured him right there, so we can't use that. And we featured her. I think we featured all the feature pages. Um, the horseshoe is what's inside here. And this is the envelope, so let's use that. One of these will work. I'm going to use this and I'm going to cut it down um, smaller. Uh, the mats are seven and seven eighths, so maybe seven and a half, so we have a little border around it. Okay, let's do that. Okay, yeah, that'll be fine. I just took a quarter of an inch off all the way around. Thunder. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now, I had this little flower. I think if I'm going to put that there, though, I need to put more than one. So we'll play with that later. Looking good. All right. So we have inside front cover, inside back cover. That's probably the next thing that we should do. And I think the inside front cover I'm just going to mat. The inside back cover, I think I'm going to do a vertical pocket like a pocket that goes this way. And that needs to be on this side, just reminding myself. Okay, so let's pick out a mat for here, something that goes with her, and it's gonna have to come from the 12 by 12. All right, 
I wanted that upper right corner because um, otherwise I was going to have a lot of this showing and it would look like what was there. Careful, this has text on it. Make sure you get it right side up. Oops. I'm gonna just knock over. Oh, bottle of glue. Okay. All right, speaking of glue, make sure you're ordering your art glitter glue because it's time to start stocking up for winter. The next few times you place orders, just order a bottle. You have to put on the sizes that you're getting. You need a little glue right there so that you have enough. That's good. Okay, well, there's that. And then back here, I need a pocket. So pocket needs to be nine and a half because this is eight and a half and I want it to be a finished size three and a half so nine and a half by four Grab that. okay Let's set that aside for the moment Corners.
good fit. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in um, about an eighth of an inch to the right of this fold area because I just want to make absolutely sure that it doesn't interfere at all with that. So I'm just peeling back the tape and making sure the bottom is stuck to the sides. Okay. And I'm going to peel back a little of this. And I'll remove that. And we'll get this corner lined up. Sounds good. for here and here. One more mat for here. So that needs to be six inches. So I need something six inches wide by eight and three quarters tall. And I don't have any scraps I know big enough for that. So let's see what we have. Could maybe use like we oops we use portions of this one here so we could maybe use this or this which we haven't used I think that's a little old let me just I think it's gonna be this let's just pull it out and see okay yeah I don't want that but I do think this would be good so six by, what did I say? Six by eight and three eighths. Okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna look really nice. Again to 
airplane mode. Hang on, let me see. Make sure it's still recording. It is? Okay. Go ahead and get this in. We don't need too much glue down in the area where it's going to be inside the pocket which of course I always forget and I put it on I put the glue on that side and not on the other side I think I did oh well definitely want some thin strips here and here. I don't know as we need them in between. That's pretty narrow. But I would like them here and here. How wide is that? Like a half inch strip would do. Half by eight and three eighths. All right, let's see. A nice narrow scrap. Let me see if I have a pouring out. Sorry if that's making too much noise for you. bit neater. We need to do covers and we need to do inserts. I think we will. I have no idea how long I've been recording. I don't know. Um, I don't think it's been that long, but I think we better stop. Okay, because that will probably take a while. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. Next time we will finish up. We'll do our covers and I'll I'll do inserts. I may have most of those done um, before the next video. I don't know. Um, but in any event, we will finish next time. So don't forget to visit Scrap and Create to purchase your supplies. There's a link down below. 
and there's a link down below for the cutting guide for this project. Um, I also have a discount code for this beautiful glass mat, and I have links to various products and things that I use. So that is it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.